Welcome to Math We Know. Comparing which is larger, 100 to the power 99 or 99 to the power 100. We've noticed that their forms are the same. That is the base to the power and exponent. Both of them have exponents. So now I would like to do the division. I would like to let 100 to the 99 to the power 99, then let it divide it 99 to the power 100. Now I have to pay attention to the denominator. It's 99 to the power 100. We will notice that the basis of the denominator and the numerator are different. And the exponents are also different. So I think I can write the denominator 99 to the power 100 as 99 to the power 99 because here the exponent is 99 and let it and let it to spare it a 99. So 99 to the power 100 can write as 99 to the power 99. Then what? Then times 99. Very good. So here is 100 to the power 99 and divide it by. 99 to the power 99, then times 99. Because here the exponent is 99, and here the exponent is also 99. So it is the base 100 divided by this base 99. And here is a bracket, don't forget it. And all to the power 99. And here is in 1 over 99. So you, you have to times 1 99th. And now, because 1 99th is very simple and easy, it's just a fraction, and the, and the numerator is 1. So you just pay attention to 100 divided by 99 or to the power 99. Here the numerator is 100, and the denominator is 99. The numerator is larger than the denominator. So we write it as 100 is 99 plus 1, so it's very easy. So it's 1 plus, and here the numerator is 1, so it's 1 divided by 99. And here is a bracket, don't forget, to the power 99, then times 1 over 99. Have you thought about that? How can we get the value of this? Don't worry. 1 plus 1 over 99 then all to the power 99. Here is 1, and here is 1 over. This 99 is the same number as the exponent, so they are both 99. And now I use this formula. That is, when n tend to infinity, and the limit of 1 plus 1 over n to the power n. It is equal to e. It's approximately equal to 2.71828281828 and 459045. Oh, sorry. I read it wrong. But it doesn't matter. And blah, 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 blah. 2 is this integer part. And the seven is the first digit. Is the first digit after the decimal point. And then one eight two eight one eight two two eight two times. And then forty five ninety forty five. So it's very easy to remember that because we've already known that the limit of when n tend to infinity, one plus one over n to the power n is equal to e, the number e. So when n is 99, and this value is smaller than e. This value is smaller than e divided by 99. Because we did a division of 100 to the power 99 and 99 to the power 100. So if it is bigger than 1, then the numerator is bigger than the denominator. And if it is equal to 1, then the numerator is equal to the denominator. 
And when the value of this fraction is smaller than 1, then the denominator is bigger than the numerator. That is, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So now we just compare e divided by 99 to compare it with 1. You know, e is this. So it is smaller than 1. So this value is smaller than e divided by 99. And e divided by 99 is also smaller than 1. So it is smaller than 1. We have got the final answer, that is 100 to the power 99 is smaller than 99 to the power 100. And don't forget to give me a thumb up, give me a like, and ring the bell. Subscribe me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.